just really pleased for the club and the, and the people that support it. You know, the supporters they want they want to they want to see the football club do well. And the guys who've travelled all this way to watch us tonight, I mean. No, if I'm not Nathan, but if I was, I'd be dedicating that trip to them because it's great that they've come all that way. But uh, they've seen one of the best goals I have ever seen. Let's talk about that because from the minute he left it, I thought he was going wide. It swelled a bit, went wide again and then went in. It was amazing and uh, I was right behind it in the dugout. Um, yeah, he must love playing Forest Green because he scores against them all the time, doesn't he? And uh, yeah, I was so pleased for him because uh, I didn't know, but that's his first hat trick of his career. Damn near a perfect away performance. We take our time to get into it. Once we're into it, we are the team. Yeah, but like a good shape while we were on top in the first 10 15 minutes. They weren't really hurting us, Forest Green, but they had the ball. Um, but we stayed in shape and kept, like I keep saying, discipline is different things, you know, arriving on time, wearing the correct kit, they're, they're easy markers, but actually staying in shape and running hard and supporting your teammate, that's a different discipline. <coughs> and the boys are starting to show them winning traits that I've been asking them to do, uh, and obviously training hard to do it. And now we've got to try and uh, keep them high and keep them consistent. Consistent challenge on tonight was to carry on from Saturday. I suppose the challenge now is to carry it on at the weekend. Well, yeah, it's course it is, but I'm going to enjoy the next three or four hours on the bus, or maybe a bit longer in it to get home, but, um, and then consider what we need to do, obviously, for Saturday's game. The new signings you've made, I heard you say on the radio, they've all made an impact. How important is that to you? Well, it's strategic recruitment. It's not just recruiting because people are available. There's three or four, four or five options in, the, in what we're trying to achieve because some aren't financially viable. Some, they go a different way due to agents' uh, considerations. Some, it's the club if you try to loan a player who, who uh, control where they go. Some, the player actually doesn't want to come. You know, it's, it, there's all different factors to recruitment. So you've got to have, like your eyes and your ears close to the ground because it, these things change often but we're, we've been working heavily today on, on recruiting even though I've got a match tonight How close are you? Can you tell us anything on that? I spoke to a player getting on the bus coming from the hotel to here I mean David have been constantly texting and speaking all day and I've spoken to another player this morning that I'm hopeful of meeting for breakfast so if we get back by four I think I'm trying to uh, make sure I speak to him before he gets other options or different things that come into his head. Let's imagine it doesn't happen if we get to Friday night and you've got what you've got now you must still be quite pleased. Yeah I keep saying though like every, it, it, it's nice to do an interview where you're talking about the performance and talking about the lads doing it and the lads aren't, who aren't playing it's not personal they, they just the example set in effort, hard work and intelligence, you are allowed to, to be that or repeat it and get that shirt. There's nobody stopping you doing that, so other than yourself. So that's the environment I want to create. JJ doing that on his first start yeah. for the club, not just the goal, yeah. but the way he played. What does that mean to him? Uh, you'll have to ask him. Uh, his mum and dad are away at the moment and that's his league debut and he scores a goal. So I'm, well, his league, excuse me, his league debut is starting a match. Um, I'm so pleased for him, uh, obviously he had the cold at the weekend, he was due to start that home game. I'm so pleased for Lofty, but they're hard conversations at the hotel when you're leaving Schoogle and Lofty out of a winning team. But I have to make, I have to protect our, our honour, our way, our, our winning way. And I looked at the games where we've played the possession based teams that have beat us, Crewe, Colchester and Plymouth. And Forest Green are one of them, I know we've done well in the cup against them, but it was horrendous conditions on it at Carlisle. So I knew today it'd be different and uh, I had to look at who I've got available and how it will work and then sell it to the boys and then they have to have an understanding of why they're not playing and not sulk and they did that so I'm really pleased school came on, it was excellent with his endeavour. Last one for me Gaffer, that 10 point gap that we've got now, that's come from hard work from yourself, from the boys, that's what you wanted. Yeah, well I want, to be honest with you, it'd be nice if it was 15. But it is from the hard work the boys are doing. Of course, but it needs to be more.